Hey guys, Alex here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you the different house and lot options in Cagayan de Oro City that are still sold by the developer. So these are all pre-selling house and lot options. So that in the event that you're looking for a pre-selling house and lot in CDO, then these are the properties that you can choose from. Okay, so first let me share my screen with you so that I can show you the available houses, pre-selling houses in CDO. So first off, we have Ignatius Enclave. So Ignatius Enclave is developed by A. Brown, which is one of the reputable developers here in Cagayan de Oro. They already have a lot of projects, and one of their popular projects is Savior Estate. So Savior is a very exclusive and high-end subdivision located in Uptown Cagayan de Oro. So just a bit background for those who are not familiar with CDO. CDO is divided mainly into two areas. We call it Uptown Cagayan de Oro because it's located around 120 meters above sea level. So it's literally on a mountain. And then we also have downtown Cagayan de Oro, which is the Divisoria area and other areas nearby. So back to Ignatius Enclave. So this is a pre-selling project by A. Brown. Its turnover is, target is around 2022 and it's located in Taguano. So this is a four bedroom, three toilet and bath property. It has a lot area of 120 square meters and a floor area of 115 to 130 square meters. So the selling price is between 6.5 for the 115 square meter floor area and 7 million for the 130 square meter floor area. So this is what the house looks like. I also have a video tour in of this unit. So I'll just put a link down below of the video tour, of the virtual tour so that you can check it out. And then they have a new model unit in Ignatius Enclave. So this is model house three. So personally, I prefer this design because it looks very sleek, very modern. It's something like you would have designed for yourself and not something really that you can buy from a developer. So very sleek and modern and I love the color, very neutral as well. So it's more on like beige, brown and white. So the pricing of this, this is actually on promo because its regular price is 8 million, but now it's just priced at 7.6. So this is currently on promo at 7.6 million. So the reservation fee is 150,000 pesos and the equity can be paid over a span of 24 months. So that's the advantage of buying a pre-selling property. You wouldn't have to pay a bulk amount for the equity since it can be stretched in 12 or in this case, 24 months. So that's just around uh, 25,000 per month. Now for the bank, your loanable amount, as you can see here, is 6.8 million. So that would be around 50, 50,000 per month for the bank monthly amortization for a span of 20 years. And if it's at 15, if it's at a 15 year term, then the, your monthly amortization at the bank would be around 61,000 per month. So this is the computation up close. Again, it's 7.6. Reservation fee is 150,000. This is non-refundable but deductible from the down payment. And then your monthly equity would be around 25,000 per month. For the amenity, so this is the map of Ignatius Enclave. It's in Taguano again, right beside Adelaida Residences, which is also a subdivision developed by A. Brown. Now this has already been turned over to the unit owners and it is already sold out. For the amenities of Ignatius Enclave, we have clubhouse, swimming pool, function hall, and parks and playgrounds. So in case you're open to renting out this property, then the rental rate would, should be around 30 to 35,000 per month. Or actually even 40, it can go as high as 40,000 per month since houses for rent are very much in demand in the uptown area. There is a huge demand but not enough supply. So let's go to the price analysis. 
So for a lot area of 120 square meters and a floor area of 117 square meters, the net selling price would be at 7.1 million. Now, if we price, since the selling prices of the lots uptown are between 15 to 18,000 per square. So if the lot is priced at 15,000 per square, then the total selling price for the lot or the total value of the lot would amount to 1.8 million. And the house would then be at 45,000 per square. Now, to build the house, in case you are also planning to, or you're also open to building instead of buying a ready-made house and lot, usually a mid-priced house would cost around 25,000 per square. If it's a, a little bit higher end, it would be at 35 to 40,000 per square. So usually for developers uptown, their, their per floor area, their per square meter range for the floor area is around 40 to 45,000 per square. Some even go up to 50. So it's really more affordable if you do decide to build since the base price or a mid-range per square meter cost if you decide to build would be only at 25,000 per square versus if you buy to if you buy from the developer at 40 to 45,000 per square. So now let's go to the pros and cons of Ignatius Enclave. So for the pros, it's a single detached modern design. And also the location is a plus because it's located in a very elevated area. The view is nice. It's flood free. The climate is cool in the area. And it is also located near the Uptown Business District. So for those who are not familiar with Uptown Business District, this is the mixed use development that A. Brown will be developing near this area. It will be just in front of Ignatius Enclave Phase 1, right beside Orchard District, which is a mixed-use development owned by John Dorff. So right now, there, are not, there aren't a lot of, or there are no commercial areas in, the, in this part right now. The nearest would be Uptown Condotel and the SM area, the Pueblo Business Park area. But once Uptown Business District is finished and once Orchard District is finished, then there will be a lot of commercial areas near this, near Ignatius Enclave. The next pro is flexible payment schemes. So since the developer is still developing the area, they're currently doing land dev right now, so the equity is can be paid within a span of 24 months. So that's an advantage for those who do not want to pay a bulk amount for the equity because you can pay the equity in a span of 24 months. So at least it is more affordable that way. Another pro is Abron is a very strong brand and they have also good quality builds and they're, they also have good after sales service. So I have a lot of clients who have invested in properties developed by Abron. And since when it comes to construction, there is really no perfect, there is no perfect product. So the advantage of getting from a good developer is that if they have good after sale service, then at least you know that they will really repair whatever your concerns are after the turnover. Now let's go to the cons. So first con is the price. So Abron is usually on the higher, higher end side when it comes to the price. Other houses uptown, other pre-selling houses are selling at between five to 6.5 to 7 million, but they're selling slightly higher at 7.6 6 million. Another con is currently there, they have no public transport in the area, but I believe that this will change once all the, all the subdivisions there are finished because once there is a demand, then the supply will come. Another con also is you cannot, since it's pre-selling, then you won't be able to use the house immediately. So this is one common con when it comes to pre-selling projects. You won't be able to use the house since if you, the developer will still be building it. So in this case, it will take about two years before you can use it. And then the next house and lot option uptown is St. Francis Heights. So the, this is developed by Fino Land Inc., which is a Batangas-based developer. They are into the hotel industry, and they decided to branch out into real estate development. 
So the address of this subdivision is Masterson Avenue Uptown. So if you're on your way to SM, this is actually before SM Mall. So among all the subdivisions, among the three subdivisions that I will, I will be sharing with you today, this is the nearest subdivision to SM and Pablo Business Park. So this is the, de the design. It's a bit colorful, so it will depend on your taste whether you like this design or not. So what makes it different? This is located within a mixed-use development. Usually, developers, when they develop a, a subdivision, it's only strictly residential. But for, for St. Francis Heights, it, will be, it is a part of Pontefino Estates, which is a mixed-use development. So they have five hectares. The Pontefino Estates has a total of 38 hectares, and five hectares is allotted for commercial use. So they will be putting up a condo, a hotel, a commercial space within the area, and it's also located in front of the future site of Xavier University. So in case you, you are planning to get a house uptown to lease it out for passive income in the future, then this is also a good area to invest in because it's, again, located in front of the future site of Xavier University, so you will have a lot of renters available. So for the specs, it is slightly smaller than Ignatius and Clave. The floor area is 103 to 109 square meters, while the lot is 75 to 102. So it's different because the inner units are smaller com compared to the corner units. So the corner units are usually bigger. And the design is townhouse design. It has four bedrooms, three toilet and bath, and two car parking. So let's go to the price analysis. So for the inner unit, I pegged the lot at 15,000 per square, and for the building, it's around 42,000 per square meter. For the end unit, the building is around is at 52,000 per square meter. So, the inner unit is a little bit less expensive than Ignatius Enclave because Ignatius was at 45,000 per square, but the end unit is at 52, so it's priced a little higher than Ignatius Enclave. Now let's go to the pros and cons. So one pro is it is located in a mixed-use community. So I added this as a pro because it will be more convenient if you live in a mixed-use community because since there are commercial areas near the, the development, then you wouldn't have to go far if you wanted to buy something or if you want to dine out. You wouldn't need to go to SM because the SM Mall or Pueblo Business Park because there will be restaurants available in this area in the future. And the location is also good. It's uptown. It's flood free near SM. This is the nearest subdivision to SM compared to the other, other two, other two developments, other two subdivisions that I'll be presenting today. And they also have flexible payment terms. So this is actually a pro that is similar to all the others. So flexible payment terms because it's again pre-selling. The equity is ten percent, and the there are also RFO units available. So I will be sharing with you another another project later, which is the Grove. And aside from Ignatius Enclave, so I'll be sharing Ignatius Enclave, St. Francis Heights, and the Grove. So out of the three, St. Francis Heights and the Grove, they have RFO units available. So that is a pro because if you want to use the unit immediately, then you can just get the RFO units. And there's also public transport in the area already. And CCT, so it has a condominium certificate of title. If house and lot, it's usually PCT, while condominium, it's CCT. So this, this is actually a condominium. And the advantage here is that you can sell it to foreigners. Now for the cons, first is the size. It's a little bit smaller than Ignatius Enclave, and it's townhouse design. So I, for most of my clients, they see a townhouse design as a con because of the limited space. Since the lot is shared ownership as well because it's condominium certificate that it's a condo. That's the classification of this project. So the space is limited if, you, if it's a townhouse design. Also, colorful facade. So another con that my clients um, see in this project is the design is too colorful because usually clients prefer like neutral tones and then last con is shared lot ownership since as i mentioned it's a condo not a housing lot okay so next and last uptown house option is the grove 
So similar to Pontefino Estates or St. Francis Heights, the Grove is also a condominium and it has a townhouse design as well. But when it comes to the design, it looks more similar to Ignatius and Clay, but it's more neutral. The turnover again is 2022, but they have available RFO units for those who want to move in and use the unit immediately. So for the location, this is located within Pueblo de Oro Golf Estate. So it's perhaps around maybe a five to six minute drive from SML, so it's just also in the uptown area. Now this is what it looks like. The inner units are at 88 square meters. That's the floor, the lot area. And the lot area, I mean, the, yeah, the lot area is 88 for the regular inner units. They also have irregular cuts at 91 square meters, while the floor area is at 90 to 107 square meters. So again, it's a little bit smaller compared to Ignatius and Clave. It's smaller by around 10 square meters, and it has three bedrooms and three toilet and baths. So it also has a carport and a balcony. So for the amenities, they have the basic amenities. They have a function, function hall, parks and playgrounds. So let's go to the price analysis. So for their inner unit, their inner units are at 5.9 million. So the floor area, again, I pegged the lot, the lot price per square meter at 15,000 per square, just so it's uniform amongst the three the three projects that I'll be comparing. So the lot is 15,000 per square. So the floor area price per square meter is at 51,000 to 55,000 for the ferry. So compared to uh, Pontefino, I mean, St. Francis Heights and Ignatius Enclave, the Grove has the most, is the, is the highest in terms of per square meter for the floor area because it's at 51,000 to 55,000 square meter. Now let's go to the pros and cons. So for the pros, it's located inside the golf course. So it's the only subdivision uptown within the golf course. There's lots of space. And it's they also have fairway lot units. So that means it's located, these are the units that are located right in front of the golf course. So the advantage here is that you will be able to see a lot of space in front of your unit. And for the location, the location is, it's basically in the same area compared to the other two subdivisions that I just shared with you. It's located uptown within Gulf State, so also good location. And for the payment terms, since it's a pre-selling project, then they also have flexible payment terms. Their equity is only 10% at 30 months to pay. The design is also another pro, and they have RFO units available. There are, there's also public transport within the area, and similar to Pontefino Estates, I mean St. Francis Heights, it's also a condominium. So they have condominium certificate of title for this project. Now for the cons, uh, one con is the size because it's a townhouse design. So the space is a little bit more limited compared to, let's say, a single detached design. And the lot ownership is also shared. But aside from that, all three are actually good projects when in terms of the location and the amenities. So it's just uh, really up to you. Okay, wait, I'll just stop screen sharing. Okay, so again, those are the three subdivisions uptown that are available on a pre-selling basis. So we have Ignatius Enclave, we have St. Francis Heights, which is located within Pontefino Estate. So Pontefino is the entire development, while St. Francis Heights is the subdivision located inside the development. And then we have the, the Grove, which is located inside Gulf Estates. So all three subdivisions are basically good, good developments and developed by reputable developers. So I just presented the pros and cons to give you a guide so that you will have an easier time choosing which project to invest in based on the location and the price and the developer as well. So that's it for now. If you have any questions, just comment in the comment section. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Or you can also reach out to me. My email and contact number is also 
in the description box down below. Let me know if you have any additional questions and I, I'll be glad to help you out. Till next time.